Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this TypeScript video tutorial, we will learn about the namespace. What is the namespace, how we can use it and uh, uh, we will learn it with an example also. Now the first question is that what is the namespace? So namespace is basically a wrapper or you can say that a interrelated code wrapper. For example, you just want to make some functionality for the users then you need a wrapper for the all functionality of the user then what you will do you will make a namespace with the name of user and you will do all kind of logical uh, work which is related to the user like uh, sign up sign in and forget password user listing user update user delete everything in a single block and that the block will be related to the users so it will just make our application uh, you can see that kind of modular all right so that uh, the code is uh, easy to read and easy to understand also and uh, obviously this is a well managed code also so one more thing that uh, nowadays uh, most of the developers or you can say that the most of the javascript or typescript developers use the modular programming so they don't use the namespace they use the modules but still this is the feature of the typescript we must have to learn it so now let's start with an example so i'm just going to completely erase this uh, stuff and now just simply write here a namespace namespace and i just want to uh, make a name of this namespace is like users util all right and uh, inside it we can make a class like users and it can have a function like uh, get name and it will just return a name for moment it will just return bruce all right so when we are using the class or any function or namespace inside the uh, or interface in the namespace we have to export it so just write it export and now let's make a variable with the let's say u1 and uh, it will be the instance of of user utils dot users right and now we can just call it console dot warn u1 dot get name right so uh, yep we have to put here a new keyboard that's correct so now try to run it for that let's open the terminal and we need a true terminal here we are not going to use the tcp app.ts we must have to use the out files because um, in this example we are using the, using the more than one file that's why it will uh, ask for the external file that's why just use here tcp uh, a typescript compiler tsc minus app.ts minus minus out file and the out file name and uh, out file name can be out dot ts out dot js right and let's hit it now you will see that um let me just check it out what's wrong with it okay so we have to put make some space here like this and just use here uh, out dot js file so now you can see that a file is generated here with the javascript code so now how we can run it so this is a simple way node uh, out dot js and bruce is the output here so this is a simple example of the namespace but now you will feel that there is a one class only so we don't need to use the namespace and all so what we can do more in the namespace we can define the functions we can define the parent classes and we can define the um, interfaces and all so now let's see that how we can define that's why i'm just going to make one more file with the name of utils dot ts and it must have the same uh, namespace name if we are going to do work in the two different files all right like this and here let's make a class and class name can be parent and uh, it have a property with the name can be blank for a moment and it have the set name function and set name function we're going to set a function 
like uh, this dot name have name and this name will come from the parameter this one all right and this dot name is related to the this uh, that one so now let's uh, try to use this uh, parent class inside the app.ts for that we just simply have to use um, triple uh, slashes then just use here reference and then we have to use the path in the path we can simply use uh, utils like this and let me check uh, we can just simply use here like this one this is a much better way so now I'm just going to use here extends uh, parent so I have to make it capital parent so it should be okay so I have to use it export here that's my bad now we can just use it parent so I can set the name here now because uh, I am uh, inheriting the class parent and it have the set name function so my user class should be able to use this function so just use here u1 dot set name and this set name let's say Tony stock and here we can just going to return here this dot name because it have the name and the get name both properties so now let's try to convert this file to the out.js file and let's run it Tony Stark that's working fine so that's great uh, we can define the parent classes here but uh, how we can define the interface also so let's make a export interface and uh, interface name can be user type and all and um, it have a function with the get name because we have a get name functions here so I just want that validate my users class it always be it, it must have to be get name so just implement implements uh, user types all right so now if I'm just going to use uh, or remove the get name function I'm just going to rename it then it will just give me an error that class users incorrectly implement interface user types property get name is missing because uh, we defined here get name right so it should be there that's why it's just giving the error so now you can see that it will just working fine and with that way we can also use the interface now you understand properly that how we can use the uh, namespace with the parent class with the functions and uh, uh, with the interface also and let's check out the loud output this is working fine so that's all. So thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video. Bye bye. Take care.